How to make a tree frog habitat. Making a tree frog habitat is pretty straightforward. Um, today what we're going to do is we're going to kind of do a, a miniature one, um, just because I'm in the mood to kind of do miniaturized stuff. And we have a little gray tree frog we're working with today. So what I've done is I've gone out to like a craft store and bought like a, a beanie baby case or um, a display case for any kind of uh, model or something. And I've drilled some ventilation holes on the top. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this as our kind of miniature tree frog enclosure. Uh, kind of a little desk enclosure, if you will. The same principles we talk about today can be used uh, for large enclosures as well. Really, your imagination is the limit. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to, usually this would be like, this would be used like this. But we're going to flip it upside down and use it like this. And I'll tell you why in a few minutes. So this is our bottom. We're going to fill that with substrate. So we're going to, we're going to use uh, cocoa bedding. This is a shredded coconut husk substrate. And we're not going to fill it all the way top. We just want a little, about halfway of bedding. I'm kind of making a mess while I do this, but that's okay. I'm, I'm a messy guy. I'll clean it up later. And uh, we're going to moisten that down with some water. This is dechlorinated water, so uh, you can either age that overnight with an open container, or you can use the dechlorinator in it. And we're just going to mist that down. And apparently, I need more water. And we'll mix it up a little bit. We just want it kind of moist in there. Keeping frogs is kind of tricky. You need the right amount of moisture, but you don't want it to be too moist. Because if it's too moist, you'll get bacteria growth and molds and, and uh, you'll make your frog sick. So we have our substrate. And now I've got this little plant we're going to use. I've actually cut this down. It was a bigger plant. And uh, I'm going to wet the suction cup a little bit. I'm going to take that up in here and suction cup it to the side. Kind of spread it out a little bit. Okay, and now we're ready to add our frog. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our little tree frog out. It's a little gray tree frog. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and shoot him up inside. He shot right up in there for me. And then... Boom. You have yourself a little tree frog enclosure. Now the reason we use that one section as the bottom is because in order to do maintenance and feed and stuff, we can just pull the top off and set that aside. We can clean the bottom out, whatever we want. And he's going to be up in his leaves still, completely unbothered by it. And so we can mist that. We can mist up in here if we want. You can put a couple crickets in there to feed them. And we just tuck all our leaves back in. like I maybe could have trimmed that plant down just a little bit more and there you go a nice little desk enclosure for a little tree frog now this same idea can be made into a larger enclosure really we're looking for when you're doing a, a tree frog enclosure is you want height you want humidity and you want lots of hiding spaces so really your imagination is the limit as far as that goes